Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. The best thing you can do for this channel is spank that like button before watching this, so it reaches a wider audience. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, Hawk in the Good. His channel is for MGTOW men looking for philosophy and purpose in today's soy society. The number one question guys ask me is how do I find meaning and purpose in life? And Hawken has you covered with politics and current affairs, mixed in from a male perspective. Visit his YouTube channel and see for yourself. Sponsor link is down below. And now on with the memes. Number one, we have a woman saying that the men of her generation are a joke. Says the walking living meme herself. Yes, the men like her baby daddy, no doubt. Women like her also choose men that will refuse to commit to anyone, her included. And then it becomes all men. Most likely all the men that she wants to be with are a joke to her because they refuse to commit to her so she thinks that shaming them might actually bring them back to the table. No way. Up next, this guy goes viral by getting five pregnant women at the same time. Attention Gen Z, this is where your tax dollars are going to go while you live in a basement apartment working to escape poverty. Someone needs to buy this man a vasectomy for Christmas. These women are also unattractive except the one in the gray dress in the back. Women would rather share the top men than have the average ones be loyal to them. But this only works with the welfare state. When that fails, they'll look for the average Joes that are loyal again. Number three, this migrant TikTok influencer who taught migrants how to steal American homes by becoming squatters was arrested after calling American workers slaves while he wasn't paying tax and making cash. Odds are he'll be released without bail because the system can barely afford to house the regular criminals let alone the illegals. The only hope for America at this point is mass deportation of illegals like this. Moving on is a teacher named Miss Jennifer and she resigns after the school district discovers her Lonely Fools and Fansly accounts. I guess you're never too old to do this sort of content these days. The world still thinks the predators are the guys wearing fedoras and trench coats, feeding pigeons at the park, trying to get a peek of your kids' privates. Meanwhile, it's the female teachers that make your kids feel safe and comfortable at school like the witch from Hansel and Gretel. Number five, what the hell happened to Will Wheaton? Looks like the negativity he got from playing Wesley Crusher rubbed off on him. And now Wesley is telling everyone else to shut up. He wants to come across as edgy saying he's going to punch a Nazi. But all he does these days is play board games on YouTube. He had the golden ticket of Star Trek The Next Generation, but decided he wanted to leave the show to pursue a movie career, and look how badly that failed. Up next is what doctors learn on their first day in medical school. That a patient cured is a customer lost. That's one of the reasons I hate doctors. It's never about a cure or prevention, but instead about treatment of symptoms. They also obviously don't want their patients to die but continue living so they can keep seeing the doctor and paying for medication that makes life barely bearable. Dentists too. Every healthy tooth is in the way of an implant. Number seven, we have Gypsy Rose and she wants $50 a month for her Lonely Fools account. I don't really know what I'm seeing here, but I don't think I want to. Just the thought of paying for her and looking at her unclad, I would instantly get flaccid. Maybe the guys that are into nofap can just look at her when they're in the mood and their stiff willy will go away. Moving on, we have Colleen, and she says that there should be a nap where you can rent a middle-aged man to go with you whenever you go to get your car serviced so the mechanic doesn't make stuff up that you have to pay for. Someone responds by saying such a man used to be called a husband in the olden days. There should be, and we should get paid in sandwiches if we do it. How many sandwiches would you charge? There might also be a market for jam jar opening as well. Number nine, do you prefer Mario or Luigi? How about Bowsette? Now this is a version of the Super Mario sisters I really would enjoy. Except for maybe Princess Peach. She'd probably have a twig and berries buried under her dress. But seriously, I'm more of a black Yoshi kind of guy. You just wouldn't understand. Up next, is Bitcoin going to just replace gold or will it replace other things? The correct answer is everything. Wait until the largest asset in the world, U.S. real estate, gets sold off to buy Bitcoin. A lot of people don't believe that's going to happen. But if the West crumbles and people need to get their capital out, this will make a lot of sense. The FOMO would be epic. Number 11 is a fine example of a woman in her prime today, smoking at the gas station with her kitty litter bag. Not to mention that it looks like someone put a baby into that. She's also sporting some stylish Crocs, too. Apparently, there's no chance of her igniting the spilled gasoline 
because that only works in the movies. But what about the gas vapors? Moving on, we have a base Florida sheriff saying that it's perfectly legal to use your boomstick to end home invaders so that you save taxpayer dollars. I guess that lead is a lot cheaper than a jail cell. Florida's population is growing because of laws like this and because squatters are removed immediately if found on your property. This is how people start to take America back. Here's what the look on the average face of a Florida homeowner might be right now if they realize they can fight back against intruders. Number 13, speaking of squatters in California, the elite are enraged. After squatters invaded a home in J-Lo in LeBron's neighborhood, they only seem to care if it happens to them. All it's going to take is some celebrity to lose their Manhattan penthouse to squatters and all hell will break loose and the laws will change. But celebrities have multiple mansions. Why not share their best with Biden's newcomers? I wonder if it was also P. Diddy that was squatting. Every rich neighborhood needs enrichment. Up next, speaking of migrants, this homeless man needs to move immediately. Because the migrants in the hotel across the road from him have complained about him. He also could have caused a real dilemma if he replied with, It's ma'am, officer. The cop also forgot to mention that the illegals were put in a luxury hotel. If I was homeless, I would just pretend to be a migrant for the perks. Doesn't this look like the way things are supposed to be? Number 15, we have this pastor's daughter leaving only fools for Jesus and wondering what it would feel like if she deleted her Lonely Fools account. Not only did she become a Christian, supposedly, but she also found a new boyfriend. I think that's the real reason for changing her tune. I wonder how big his bank account is. Christian simpanzees are falling for her. But who's her new guy? She's also pretty smart because if it doesn't last with them, she can always fall back on Lonely Fools. That's probably why she didn't delete her accounts. If you don't believe it, then just look into Mia Khalifa. Moving on, Miley Cyrus's mother, Tish, reveals that her new husband also had a relationship with her daughter. I guess that women are willing to share the top men, even if they're mother and daughter. Their family sounds like the Jerry Springer show. I thought this was Miley, but it's actually her sister, the one that didn't get the good looks in the family. If you're Billy Ray Cyrus, you probably regret starting a family at all now. Number 17, back in the day, there were no pickup artists because there were seduction and adultery laws. Back in the day, if you promised to marry a woman, if she slept with you and you lied, that was actually a seduction crime. But in Frank's case, the woman was already married, so they couldn't charge him with seduction. So instead, they charged him with adultery. The charges were then dropped when he paid $500. I also bet they didn't charge her with adultery, even though she was married. Should we bring these laws back? Up next, this guy's side chick waited until he fell asleep and took this photo on his phone and then sent it to his wife. Now he wants a believable backstory to tell his wife. He should tell her it's an AI picture. Or maybe that this is his work wife and this is a business retreat. Better yet, he should just tell his wife, what do you mean? This is you. They probably look alike. Or that this is his trans lover and that he won't stand for any bigotry from his wife. Number 19 is an image of a woman struggling during a hike versus a photo that she'll post on social media. What is this lady with a muffin top doing on a mountaintop? This guy should have just left her behind. If he did, she would have gotten up really quickly for fear of being abandoned. Moving on, we have the before and after pictures of Jessica Simpson. Imagine marrying Jessica Simpson on the left and then her turning into the woman on the right. Imagine waking up to that woman you don't even recognize and wondering... What the hell happened to your beautiful, famous wife? Since then, she's lost a lot of weight and now looks like this. But the stretch marks and shame of being fat will follow her forever. Number 21, this poor baby boy was born without a penis. Timothy says the exact same thing happened to his sister. I'm not sure how rare this is when 49% of humans are born with that one. But seriously, this does actually affect 1 in 10 million to 30 million baby boys. He needs to look on the bright side, though. At least he won't be getting circumcised and can probably enter the Olympics as a female. Also, the smaller it is, the higher your IQ usually is. Up next, we have women trying to find themselves with tons of eggs. Then the strong women stage when 70% are gone. And finally, the I'm ready to settle down stage with no eggs. Empty egg carton. The last image just needs more cats. I also think that she is still confused should be the title for the last picture. Number 23, we have a woman from Florida and she kidnaps a scientist and demands that he make her dog immortal. The women from Florida never fail to amaze me. She probably loves Rover and her story is about Rover and Juliet falling into an interspecies romance. And she can't bear to live without him and the peanut butter. 
Regardless, she looks hot and crazy. Moving on, we have a woman claiming that women in general are pushed to marry early because they know that the older they get and the more they learn about men, the less likely they will want to be with one. But the opposite is true. The older they get, the more they need a man in their life and the attention and pension that he brings. This is how men feel, though. The more we learn about them, the more likely we are to go our own way from them. To make it more accurate, just replace want a man with get a man. Number 25 and the last one, this trans man transitioned, then detransitioned, and then transitioned again. Would you look at that? A lack of commitment in order to get attention. Bro looks like he pulled an Uno reverse card. Here's a picture of his plastic surgeon when he sees this guy coming into the office. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Give this video a thumbs up to help it reach more viewers. If you want the memes I can't show you on YouTube, then subscribe over on my X account, where I post them ahead of time. Link is down below. Also, remember I make these for free, so donate what you can at the PayPal and subscribe star links below for more content like this. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.